Uh, the, the question, the statement I have is, um, with all these new technologies, I love the idea of a self-driving car. It, it seems like it would really take a lot of pressure off a lot of different people. My worry is that um, with all the hacking that goes on, what would happen, you know, if someone hacked into the, the, the controls of these cars, I put my mother in the car, sent her to her, you know, her daycare center or whatever, the car gets hacked, the person who hacked the car pulls it into his driveway and proceeds to take her pocketbook or worse. You know, has any, any protections in this, along these lines, gone into the thought about all these different technologies about anti-hacking or securing the, the, uh, the, the software that, that motivates these things? And I'll take my answer off the line. I, I, That's a really great question. So at the moment, they're using a two-system verification where the facial recognition and fingerprinting are used to identify the uh, owner of the vehicle. So there's going to be a perception that, good, that, that the product's going to be safe from worries from the you know average Joe Schmo. However, of course, there's going to be the uh, back uh, access for the, uh, the people w within the network. And, you know, for example, like if you, you want to send like an ISIS soldier or something to go like, you know, use one of these vehicles to do like a mass uh, murder, you know, you, you, you could certainly use this as a pretext still. And then people still think that this is, this is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Islamic State. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, the, the idea is, that, you know, people want to believe that this is going to be safe. It's, it's going to protect them. And, you know, for, 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 you know, for, for the, rest of, the rest of the networkers. Uh, you know, certainly going to be protected. Of course, the uh, descent is going to be taken out. So, 